So unfortunately, my computer has actually died. So the watermelon has ended its last few days and I'm boring a computer for this one. But this is good and both bad. So I didn't have much time to do this build. So it's just a quick build, quick fun yacht. I actually started building this on the watermelon, but the watermelon, since it's passing, I lost the build, so I had to start again on this one. But it's okay, it's fine. It's, it's not bad because next month in March, I get a new computer, and so there'll be better quality content, and it's gonna be juicy, and it'll be fun, so get keen. I did slow this one down a little bit at the start just so that people can see everything that I'm doing. Hopefully you can tell everything that I'm doing. If you do have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll answer them. This is like this build isn't like crazy experimental or anything like but I'm I'm definitely going to be getting into that once I get my new computer and I have more time. For tutorials, I'll definitely start making tutorials once I get my new computer. I think that the next one might be on layering. I might make one on layering because that seems like a good topic that no one's really done a tutorial on and it's there's a lot of things you can talk about in it. This here is a bar I'm just making from a side profile. So I've got like a beer tap there and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, I think. I think it's something different. They're not pipes there, they're just supports that I've used a slime wall and the balloon wall next to each other. This bit's pretty cool. So I used um, some hallowed walls. I can't remember the exact name, but if you search hallowed walls on your journeyman character, you'll see them. And I'll paint them deep blue. They actually look really cool there. I think it's something interesting and different. One thing I do recommend doing if you're starting to get into interior building and you don't know much about what sort of furniture looks good and you see all these people using all these cool painted furniture, then what you should do is actually just line up all the chairs, all the tables and stuff like that and just start applying and playing with paint on them to see how they're going to look with different sorts of paints and use deep paint and regular paint and the white, black, grey paint so you can just see how things are going to look and you'll actually learn a lot from doing that, I feel like, which will help you design your rooms better as well. Just make sure you're always playing with paint on different materials. See out there I made a ladder and I used to make the ladder uh, borrow wood platforms and two bamboo fences. One thing that I have to be careful of is I had to make sure that I wasn't putting the ladder just the top of the ladder that's what it's not a whole ladder the top of the ladder um, 
in line with the window because then obviously wouldn't make sense so if you do things like that you have to always like watch for your windows like another thing that you will see every now and then people do is they'll do shadow painted doors and when they do their shadow painted doors they'll put a window next to it and a window above it but then they'll have the shadow paint door have stairs going up and then they'll put it diagonally opposite above it um, another shadow paint door so it's like a way to go upstairs but because they got their window next to it and above it there's nowhere for you to go upstairs because you can see straight through so you can clearly see through the windows that there's no background rooms in both of those directions so it just doesn't make sense so just make sure yeah that when you do things with um, that go into the background that you don't have your windows mucking you up. We are coming up to the end of the clip, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Maybe be a bit patient because I will be waiting on my next computer, my new computer for the next video. But thanks for watching. I've got a heap of cool plans for the next video. Um, get keen.